Hi everyone, welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. I'm so glad to see you today and I hope everyone is doing well. It has actually cooled off a little bit. I mean, it's like in the 80s. It's so pleasant. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And I was so glad because I had to do a grocery pickup today and it was a large one. So, you know, that wears me out when I have to haul all the groceries in. But I got them in, got them clean, got mom's to her, mine put away, hers put away. <sighs> I had lunch, and now I'm here talking to you. So, I have a few things I want to share with you. If you remember, I said I was going to do a no-spend month. But I kind of specified that it was going to be no-spend on paper and stickers. Well, I have stuck to that. I have. Um, I did get this pad of black paper today for some um, some cardstock. It's not paper, it's cardstock. And I didn't have any black except some small pieces and I really need it for some crafting I'm doing. And my mom got it in our grocery order from Walmart, so I didn't technically pay for it. <laughs> But um, it's 50 sheets, and um, yeah, it's the core is white, so you know that's not the best. But um, I think for what I want to do, I'll I will give it a try. Um, it's hard when I can't get into the stores. So, um, it'll be fine for some die cuts and different things I want to do. And I will probably need to find um, a better quality of, of um, black paper soon. So, um, if you saw my BB Craft unboxing, you saw that I got um, the material to make shrinky dinks. The plastic to do shrinky dinks. Now, I know you can put them in the oven, but I have seen lots of people... Um, using a heat gun, which is what I think Susan Tootsie Tucker did. And I thought, well, you know, I've been wanting a heat gun anyway, because when I do my, um, my visual journal or I do um, watercolor, if it gets too wet, I have to walk away and leave it. And a lot of the times it's okay, but sometimes I'm, I'm in a project I really want to finish. So I had been looking for one on uh, Amazon for a while, and I found one at a really, really good price. So since it was a tool and not, <laughs> I know, I can excuse myself for anything, but it is. It's a tool, not paper or stickers. I got myself this heat gun. So I haven't tried it yet, but this is the box it came in. I just got it the other day, and I'm like, woohoo! So, I will be trying that real soon. I was really happy to get that. And then the other day when I was working on one of my um, craft projects, my Dollar Tree scissors were just not cutting it. <laughs> Quote, unquote, not cutting it. They were sticking. They just weren't doing a good job. So, I had these in my cart for a long time, and when I, I ordered the heat gun, I also ordered these scissors, and I decided to get the Jim Holt, Tim Holtz, not Jim, the way he writes that, I swear it looks like Jim, <laughs> but it's Tim Holtz, and I got the seven inch um, scissors, and these are the titanium snip, micro serrated, so these are supposed to clean up really well. Look at the handles. Oh my gosh. And it comes with this little shield. Oh, these. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I haven't cut anything, so let me just, let me just, like butter. <laughs> oh, and the control. Oh. Now, I know that Alicia from Alicia's Crafty Hop Lob had said, if you don't have good scissors, you don't know what you're missing. And I believe, I believe she's right. <laughs> so, these are my first really professional scissors. I'm so excited. I love this. The grip on them is awesome. Anyway, so those were the two things that I got. But they're tools. They're tools now. But, um... I had a 
an Amazon credit, and um, that's always my excuse. I have an Amazon credit, so I can order some more crafting things. But anyway, I um, I will be using those, and I'm, I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing that. All right. I wanted to update you on my visual journal that I started. Remember that Alicia sent me this book for my birthday, and I'm so excited. So for those of you that are new, this was my first page, my first layout. And this was using all of the packaging and things that came in the box of um, birthday goodies that she sent me. So then the second layout is, and I finally completed it, it got kind of mishmashy, but I was having fun, so I just went with it. But this is it. I did um, stamping, watercolor, my new alcohol inks, some um, Mod Podge, and I had made a big old mess. So I glued a piece of scrap watercolor paper over it and watercolored. There's a little envelope. I wrote some words on it. Just um, thankful, friends, family, grace, hope, love, faith, create, blessed, forgiveness. Just some words that I wanted that is what I've been feeling in the last several days that I, I just really need to be thankful for. I had joy, but I messed it up, so I had to cover it up with, with this. But I'm, I, I probably will add that, because that is my word, joy. But um, I had a great time doing it, and so I'm, I'm pleased with it. And it is done. I will move on to the next. And um, I'm doing it whenever the mood strikes me, and however um, creative I feel. Whether I've collected some scraps, you know, like some of my... Um, my watercolors that I've just cut up into little pieces to use in um, collage or decoupage. You just, you know, I just have a little a little container that I just throw little things in that I like, and um, then just see how creative I can get with them. But that is what I've been. That is what I've been doing. I did have a few days of my fatigue really hit me. Oh, I hate when it does that because I just can't stay awake. I just sleep and uh, lay on the couch, and it's just frustrating. But um, I just have to go with it. And then when I have a day like today where I have some energy, I'm just so thankful, so very thankful. So um, that is it for today. I will probably be back for Smile Saturday. And a lot of you have asked some questions about my mom since we've talked about doing the birthday um, card surprise for her. And I will, I will tell you um, some more stories about my mom on Saturday and some things she likes and a little bit more about her. And we will talk about that on Saturday. So something to look forward to, I hope. So um, wishing you all a great Thursday and Friday. And I will see you Saturday. Sending love. Bye now.